the Curator of Anthropology at the San Bernardino County Museum. Today's event is called Digging It, the Science of Breaking Ground. This is a video on how to make your coil pot. So you're gonna need a flat, clean surface. You'll need your clay and maybe some scissors. Make sure to get an adult to help you with that. So I want you to grab your clay and open your packet and take the clay out. Now we're making a coil pot today. So what I want you to do is to start making a long noodle, okay? By rolling it in your hands, you can also use the table. You can also do this in sections. Okay, so just make sure to, try to get an even length and width. Now, something else you can do is break these up into even pieces. And work that way. That looks pretty good. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by making a spiral. So I want you to tuck this side in like this, and then you're gonna go ahead and just go around. You can either move this part like this. Okay, we're making the base. Depending on how big you want your pot to be, you can make the base bigger um, or you can make it small like this. Okay, you wanna kinda squish it a little bit so that it stays together. Okay, now that we have our base, you can kinda uh, squish it a little more, make it a little bigger like you're making a pizza. Okay, just like that. Now, what you're gonna do, we're gonna work on the walls. Put your base to a side, and let's keep rolling our coils. That's pretty good. Now what we're gonna do, you're gonna grab your base again, and now we're gonna build the walls, okay? So on this outer edge, that, you're gonna place the coil and start working upward. Okay, once you get to the side, you're just gonna go ahead and keep going, keep coiling on top. Now you can do this one at a time or make all your noodles and just coil them all up. But we can already see our pot taking shape. Put that off to the side and keep rolling. So keep adding right on top. I'm just gonna attach this piece to where that ended, okay, as if it was one long noodle. If you have a big enough space, you can roll the whole packet out into one long noodle and just keep going. But a lot of us don't have that much space, so I like to work in sections. Okay, I am giving it a little squeeze so that I know they're sticking together. Okay, keep going. This was a method that has been used for thousands of years. Native Americans in this area would make clay, so they'd get some silty, clay-y type of soil from riverbeds, and then work it and knead it until all, most of the inclusions were, were gone. Clay making is a fascinating topic. If you're ever curious, you should look it up. as you want, as high up as your clay allows, 
I'll have to do one more piece. Now, if you got multiple packets, you can either have, make your own individual one or you can make them all together. You can combine all the clay and make a really big pot. Okay. All right, this is my last piece. Now that we have our walls, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a little squeeze. And also attach the end piece. So I'm just going to pull it down and give that a squeeze. Okay, kind of smooth it out just like that. Okay, so there's our pot. Now you could either leave your pot with the coil showing, or like many Native Americans, they'd smooth them out. So you'd smooth everything out so that you wouldn't see any more lines. Okay, and that's just by basically squeezing it together. Something else you could do is start to shape it. So if you wanted to bow out the, the walls and have the, the mouth smaller, you could do that with your fingers. You could also do that with the coils. It, it, it takes a little bit of engineering. Okay. Something else you could do is you can grab a writing implement or your scissors and you can make designs. This was also common. But my scissors are making kind of a cool triangular shape so you can go around and stamp a pattern into your coils. You could also paint this clay with acrylic paint or watercolor, whatever you have, nail polish. I'm going to put a pattern on the top. Okay, and then what you're going to do is let this dry out in the sun. It has to get bone dry first, and then you'll have a nice sturdy coil pot.